Just what the Michael Sheen is going on in Woke Wales is beyond belief. It's beyond me. I'm glad I left. I will never return to Marxist, Socialist, Communist Woke Wales ever because it's getting crazier and crazier by the day. So the latest is the Brecon Beacons in South Wales is to change its name to the Welsh version of Banai Brecheniog. Now, I've done many a army course in the Brecon Beacons. It's bleak and you can experience all four seasons within 24 hours. And it's not really a fun place to be. No squaddy ever had a great time in Brecon, unless, of course, you are a green-blooded uh, British Army psycho. <laughs> now, get this. The reason they're doing this is to uh, <laughs> cut links with emissions, because the name Brecon Beacons has a link to pollution and emissions, if you can believe that. And apparently it's the use of the word beacons, because the word beacons, <laughs> I can't help but laugh. What else can you do with something so silly? It really is. It's silly. <laughs> um, the word beacons uh, has echoes of wood-burning braziers chucking out carbon emissions, and that's why they're changing it. I mean, it's completely escaped them. The people who, who run there and, and run this place, the council, whatever it is, whatever... Uh, authority or entity in charge of, of of this silliness. It's escaped them. That beacon is to do with the height of the hills there, and they do only have hills in South Wales, uh, unlike in North Wales where we have real mountains. And this has been backed by a celebrity, none other than probably the most woke Welsh celebrity ever, the Welsh version of Gary Lineker. That is Michael Sheen, as woke as they come. Remember Michael Sheen? He turned up at the Welsh football headquarters and he did that cringingly embarrassing speech. Something about a red wall or something. And, and saying something about a maroid. <laughs> oh, what a fucking twat. Anyway, it didn't inspire the Welsh, did they? They were knocked out. So there we go. And rightly so, Sodom. So he's done a video about this, about the launch, and he stood there in his... Uh, in all his hairy glory, uh, explaining why the name needs to change because of climate change. I'm surprised he didn't have um, a Swedish goblin, uh, Greta Thunberg, stood with him, employing some actors to pretend like they're security or police officers to drag her away from the scene because, you know, it's Greta Thunberg. I mean, these morons, and that's what they are, they are morons. They don't see and they're not aware of their own hypocrisy because there's a dragon on the Welsh flag. The dragon breathes fire. Therefore, the dragon contributes to the climate emergency, doesn't it? And therefore should be offensive and they should replace it with something a bit more gentle and weak and woke. Like, I don't know. Um, what else is not native to Wales, uh, along with dragons? Platypus, put a platypus on there. Hang on, a platypus has poisonous barbs, doesn't it? Something, a butterfly. Let's have a butterfly on the uh, uh, on the Welsh flag instead, because it suits them. Uh, and, it, and it's not a danger to the environment, is it? Talk about pathetic. It's enough to make a, a Welshman apply for English citizenship. It really is. But there we go. That's my video. <laughs> pathetic, isn't it? Jesus. Uh, where was I? Yes. Let me know what you think in the comments. And until the next time, have a great day. And Roger Trout.